Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ethereautomation.com and welcome to another video for automating Flutter app with Flutter driver course. And in this video, I'll be talking about testing Flutter application with Flutter driver. And this is going to be a part two of our Flutter driver testing video because in our previous video, we saw how we can test the application. We also copy pasted some of the code from the exact Google documentation and we actually ran into a problem. And the reason why we ran into the problem was very unclear and we are going to be resolving that in this particular video with a clear definition. So the Flutter driver element identification as we saw in our previous video is this. We can identify an UI element in Flutter driver using the following ways. By using the semantic label, by using tooltip, by value and by value keys. So these are the only four ways as we saw in our previous video or the way to identify the element of a UI element in the Flutter application. And there is no other way that you can actually use to identify an element within the Flutter application. Something like by ID or by CSS or by XPath, there is no such thing in Flutter driver. These are the only four way that you can identify an element in Flutter driver. And there may be edge cases that these things may not be sufficient for you to automate the application. But as of now, for this demonstration and for the upcoming demonstration, I guess these are the four way and these four ways are more than enough for this demonstration. And in our previous video, we had a problem in identifying the following controls. And the reason is because there were no such identification in the UI of the application actually. As you can see in our previous video, while we were discussing, we were trying to find the counter text finder uh, using the by value key of counter and also the button finder to click that increment button uh, using the increment by value key and it did not work as well. So you can see that the application was actually created by Google using their own template code and the code we copy pasted from the Google's documentation, but still the code was not working. And the reason is because this, as you can see, the counter text finder that they are finding using the by value key of counter actually does not exist at all. So they are using the by value key and you can see there is nowhere the by value key actually exists. And similarly, they're identifying the increment using the by value key, but in fact, it is actually the tooltip of increment. So this should be either by tooltip or this should be the code should be a uh, by value key in here and only then the code actually works if not the code is not going to work so these are the two things that we need to be resolving within our code and we'll see that after changing this particular code this particular uh, test is going to run without any problem so for that i'm going to flip to my visual studio code ide all right so as you can see this is our uh, code that we were executing in our previous video and these are the tests that we just copy pasted from the google's documentation and you can see that uh, they identified using the counter text finder, this guy, uh, which has this counter as the value key. So where is this coming from? Well, if you go to the uh, main dot dot, there is no way that it has been mentioned uh, that there is something called as counter. So what you need to do basically in here is you need to add a key, a value key, which is nothing but a class of counter. And now you may be wondering, what is this value key and what is this key? So basically in Flutter, everything is widget and every widget has a key. And you can see that uh, if I go to this particular text widget class, you can see it extends a stateless widget, but this text class actually has a key in it. And this key you can use for the by value key identification within the Flutter driver. So you can add this particular key for any of the widget that you have got, and then you can use that particular value key for your identification and perform an action on it. And that's what I'll be doing in here as well. I've just set the key as uh, the value key of counter, and I can come down in here. I can either change this tooltip from uh, the capital I to small i, or I can also set uh, the key in here uh, to identify this particular element, but I'm not basically going to be doing that for now. I'm just going to leave this tooltip as it is so that we can identify the element in a two different way. So I'm going to go to the e to e underscore test dot dot this time. Uh, and I'm just going to change this by value key to by 
tooltip because we know that this particular increment is actually a tooltip property that's how I'm going to be identifying this particular button finder and this counter is already been set which is going to be okay so if I come here you can see this is a counter in here right all good right now I'm just going to save this and I'm going to run the same test without any changes other than that and let's see what's going to basically happen so this time I expect the application uh, to be opened and it should increment a counter and then it should verify the counter value uh, as one so it opened the app there you go you can see that it was pretty fast actually it opened the app it clicked the button and it became one and then it also tested and you can see that the test got passed as well so maybe I can run this uh, one more time and I can show you once the application opens it's gonna verify if the value is zero and once it is zero then it's gonna tap the button and it expects to be one and you can just note that here it's there you go it's so fast man I cannot help on that but yes this is how you can actually work with the uh, the changing of the element identifier within our application and see how it works so this is how basically the object identification and the element identification actually works in flutter and you can see that the flutter driver itself is super fast it just opened the app very quickly and it tested the application and closed it instantly which was really really cool in our next video we'll even extend this application we'll add some more jars in the application and we'll see how we can extend the flutter driver automation to test different ways of our application and identify the elements